Don't tell us what to do. You're not my real dad. You know, we could n maybe not be. Remember, we picked you up at a roadside park. Yeah, I believe it. There's no, there's no way I look this good coming from you guys. So. Oh. Ah. <laughs> so bad. I'm just serious. <sighs> you wanna hop on, boo? I'm so glad I got that one. Hello, darkness, my old friend. He just let his bike out in the gear. You ah! rookie. So that's the second time he's done it in like 30 minutes. So we made it here to a canyon. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, I highly doubt the camera does this thing justice. It is one of the biggest, one of the largest rock structures I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh yeah, the camera definitely does not do it justice. <laughs> I just looked through the, the viewfinder here. The camera does not do this thing justice. Does not at all. No. You, right here is a cool you, shot. you don't really understand the uh, the depth perception I'm through the viewfinder. Came down that one turn, I was just like, I feel so tiny. Yeah, I was so concentrated on the road, and we were coming along, and I looked up, and I had to keep, I had to move my head to keep looking up to see the top of it. I was like, holy crap, we're close to this thing, and it is huge. I was like, we're far, far away, and I'm like, oh, that looks kind of neat. And as we get closer, it's just like, yeah, oh, I got to turn. Okay, pretty nuts. I'm gonna go over here to this. Uh, Little oh, informational boy. center. See totally if we can get easy. some. Would have fallen in the background of your shot. See if we can get some information on it. They came out clean. Did you read? Crickets. Yeah. This is the Santa Alina Canyon. Oh yeah, here we go, guys. Before anyone asks me for drone footage, this is why. Oh wow. Are we right here? Look, that's Mexico. Yes. That one. That's crazy. I wish it told you something like about the, the mountains here. Calcite crystals. I wonder if that's the sparklies. That's probably what we saw, the sparklies. Nice. Oh, it does. It says 15,000 or 1,500 feet from the banks. Wow. Wow. 1,500. So that's the equivalent of a 150 story building, uh, give or take. Yeah. That's high. Wow. <laughs> that kind of puts into perspective seeing Brad standing there. Yeah. Jesus. Let's go explore. What are you doing back there? Keep up. You're going to get lost out here. Then you'll be gone forever. The internet will be very upset about that. Wow. There's the river right there.
<laughs> the shiny wet mud didn't give it away. Uh, well, this stuff wasn't at all. It's also not shiny. That stuff is. Yeah, you're right. Of course I am. This is crazy. Have you been down to this part before? No, not to this part. No, we, we when me and my dad came, we, we hiked up a mountain. I couldn't tell you which trail it was, but at the very top of it, it's the tallest point in the park, and that's where he wants his ashes spread when he dies, so. Oh, that'd be a hell of a trip. Oh, it'd be a hell of a trip. Warping ahead a little bit. Drove two miles up the road. Stopping to have some lunch. Some uh, keto-friendly wraps for everybody. Are you everybody taking a bite at once? Ah, ah. call. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. Oh yeah, all right, my shot. That's why you're doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> Did your mama never tell you not to with your mouthful? Well, I see guys here at Big Ben. <laughs> the more your mouth is, the more polite it is. That's how it goes. <laughs> how do you like the park so far? It's so good. There you go. It's been so much fun. Uh -huh. I love all the big mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Content gold. You're not gonna get a better background than that. You're on an active highway, baby, just letting you know. How am I supposed to look at you and look to see if the car's coming? I'm just trying to make sure you don't get killed. You can lose the attitude. God. Thanks, Bo. So we've made it to uh, another visitor center here. Well, the visitor center, I guess you could say. Uh, the Chisos Mountains, I believe it was called. And uh, now the guys wanna go take a group picture over here where they can get the uh, the big mountain and everything in the background. We're losing daylight quick, the, quick though, so I think after this we're probably gonna blast on back to the property. That way we can still get our uh, gun time in for the day.
we made it back to the uh, the property here, taking the long ass ride back to the actual cabin. We have a little bit of sunlight left. How, how much do you think we got left, Ken? Uh, hold on, hold on, that's in there. Uh, in the Navy. Uh, two carry, the, four. carry the seven. We got about an hour and a half left. About an hour and a half left. So Brian was just talking about the ride. What did you think about it today? Dude, that was some of the best scenery I think I've ever seen. Like, that was just awesome. I have to agree, especially as far as riding goes, some of the best roads slash scenery that I've ever seen. The roads were pretty rough in Big Bend, though. They had oh, signs so either. rough. <laughs> they had signs. Yeah. <laughs> That's sarcasm, because there was signs that said rough roads, and I was expecting, you know, at least Gravel. bumpy. Yeah. Because yeah. they were like, Three quarter size speed bumps. It was like only, interstate quality roads. <laughs> the only difficult one was the 10 mile an hour snake turns. Yeah. That was the only difficult. When my wife tried to kill me. So tell us the story of what actually happened on that one. Because I have an idea of what happened, so I want to see if I'm right. So we're coming into the first uh, hairpin to the right. And it's 10 miles an hour. And I go to lean. I go to lean in myself, and I haven't leaned the bike yet. So I'm I'm getting my head over the, over the mirror. And my wife. As soon as I start to lean the bike, she decides she's gonna go more. Oh god. And I keep my toe kicked out to the right of my brake pedal so I can lift it up and put it on. So as soon as my freaking boards hit the ground, my toe caught the ground and yanked my foot underneath me. Yeah, it was not fun. Kept it up though. See, I was afraid that you had taken the turn, gotten too slow, she thought you were gonna go over and put her foot down. No. Because we've seen that happen a few times. Yeah. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. We've done over 800 miles in three days. My body's starting to feel it yeah, a little bit. Now. So tonight's gonna be one of those chill out, hangout nights. But first, what we're gonna go do is go uh, find somewhere to shoot some guns. So hopefully, my video doesn't get demonetized for the following footage. Demonetized. 20 minutes later. So we got all the, the gear loaded up. Oh. We got all the guns loaded up in the back of the truck. Uh, we talked to the property owner, Kurt. He's actually got his AK with him that he's going to let us shoot as well. So we're going to have an AK, an AR, and a wide variety of pistols as well as... Did you ask me about this? Nope. Easier to ask forgiveness than permission. <laughs> as well as uh, two pounds of Tannerite. Which Woo! Uh, should make a pretty good boom. I don't think we brought anything to blow up though. I wanted to bring an old motorcycle helmet and I totally forgot. But, ah. You wanted to bring a what? I'm oh, such a bad YouTuber! <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to get you guys good pro uh, footage with this camera plus my phone. Because that shoots 4K and everything too, so. Woo! Can I get America? America! America! Yeah, America! Woo! 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 Had Avelina's tag twice, my dogs, you know. Uh, I'll blow them up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shoot into these uh, piles of dirt here, and, uh, and let me get the AK out here for you. Hi, puppy. Hi, baby. Hi, babies. <laughs> but they love us. <laughs> okay, this. Um, it's this is on safety. See, it's got a little it's safety, safety there, there. and yes, the sir. safety's off. Off and you just take the safety off and you ching ching it. Yes, sir. You know, and uh, it can, you know, it can jam, you know. That's it's been a why, couple months since that's, I've that's tried why to make I have uh, this hoof pick here so you can dig it out, but don't, uh, you know, turn it up towards your face or towards anybody if you're trying to dig yeah, it out. Yeah, not problem. And if it won't come out, just, you know, put it somewhere facing backwards away from people and yes, sir. we'll take it to a gunsmith or something or another. Not but that's problem. safety on, safety off, ching ching. <laughs> And there you go. It's been a little while, but I think I got the hang of it.
Damn donkey out here. Oh boy, what what a night, what a night. This isn't gonna make sense because you still have to see stuff. Not ending the vlog yet. I'll end it at the first gas station we stop. He's getting anxious. He wants it to be shorter too. He's speeding back up again. <laughs> Down there. Lando. I feel like Kurt just like <laughs> was looking. Oh. We made it. We, we lost a. We lost a Justin. We did. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I look over. And Justin's not there. I'm like. Where'd he go? I didn't hear any screaming. A what? Let's go ahead, Donnie. <laughs> Bike trapped in the <laughs> food film. Who's <laughs> 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 ran around? <laughs> oh my gosh. You got a knife? <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> but we know you have one in your saddlebag. Yeah. Except I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta roll in there. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Oh dear. I don't do flying shit. If it flies, it dies. You ready for the trip home? No. I don't wanna. <laughs> you ready to do all that riding? Oh jeez. <laughs> Fuck off, butterfly. Fuck off. Everybody loves a good meat fairy. Ha. You guys remember Rock? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Guys are terrible. Yeah, but it was funny, huh? You ready for your close up? Here. Hey, y'all. Ready for your close up? Swiggity, swiggity. So I know I said I would t get back with you guys at the first gas station, but it's actually the last gas station. We made it all the way back to Kerrville. We shot down I-10, been doing about 85, 90 miles an hour the whole way, because uh, yeah, we're just done with this. We just crossed over the 200 mile mark, so we'll probably be just under, I say 200? The 1200 mile mark, so we're gonna be just under 1300 miles for the weekend so uh, definitely my longest weekend by far but I uh, once again special shout out to Cowboys Alamo City Harley Davidson for lending me this bike uh, I'm gonna go talk to them tomorrow see what we can do on this bike or another bike or who knows that'll be for another episode but just wanted to uh, thank you guys for coming along on this journey with us uh, if you like this type of content please let me know down in the comment section below uh, if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already go ahead and punch that subscribe button and as always Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.